your girl, Caitlin Marie. So I just left a car dealership with Sierra. I am on my way to get a spray tan. And I have never tanned or anything like that before. I'm in the sun, I burn very easily. And after I burn, I do not tan. My skin will peel and then I'm like white as a ghost again. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, like a tanning bed is basically like, um, so I'm like holding the camera. I don't have a tripod and like I don't have a thing for it to like sit. Yeah, so anyone who knows anything about tanning, obviously if you're like in the bed in the UV rays, like it's the same as having um, sun exposure and like you will burn. So I am getting a spray tan. Yay. So, um, yeah, so I will vlog some more once I get in there. I will show y'all what's going on. So, I am all exfoliated and I have no perfume, deodorants, lotions, oils. I have nothing on. So, I'm ready to get it. Let's go. So I just got out. I'm wearing baggy clothes. Well, I'm wearing the short hat on. Just no bra. TMI, sorry. Um, and like these little like shorts. And I put a towel down because like I'm afraid it's going to get out my seats. Which I'm dry. Um, I don't know. I just feel like really like glossy. But my, my skin's like very, very dry. But it just looks like you guys can see. It's like really shiny. Um, so I'm very eager to get home. And like it has to like process. Since I'm very fair, like I said, I have to wait four to six hours but usually it's like nine to ten hours but since I'm so fair like the processing has to like sit in before I could like take a shower and like rinse off like the first layer and then I will know how I look and what I meant to do when I first um, got there like I had to fill out like paperwork because it's my first time ever like tanning and like a waiver like just in case like I don't like the color um, I really need a tripod um, but I, what I wanted to do is I have like little stickers that you could put on your skin. I was gonna put mine like like on my like um like my pant line so I could like take it off and like see if I change but I forgot like they were like telling me like everything to do and I was just like ah I was like I was like drying. It was actually at like the tanning booth. Like it was it was kind of scary, like, to be honest. Like, you have to, like, remember, like, these poses. There's two poses, but it's, like, A and B. Like, front and back. And they're two different poses. Which, I guess, like, at other places, it's, like, harder. Like, you have to do, like, all, like, crazy poses, they were saying. But it's just, like, front and back. But it's how you have to, like, position your back and, like, your stomach. And, like, put your head up and, like, your arms. Like, it was just kind of, like, a lot to remember. Not really. I'm just slow. <laughs> but, um... But as it was, like, coming, like, this thing comes down. It was, like, so, like... It was intense. I was just like, oh, but if like I'm missing like my whole under neck, like it was kind of um, scary. And then like you close your eyes and hold your breath, so like you're not like it's not going in like in your eyes and like stuff. So that comes down, and it's just like I opened my eyes and it was like right here at my chest, and I was like, it's like it's like scary, it's like this big machine, like just like taking you in, like it was kind of scary. But yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna leave here and go home, and then I will talk to you guys as soon as I done as soon. As I feel like it's been for wow I will talk to you guys in four hours and I will check myself and I'll keep you guys updated there we go update okay so it's been about literally 14 hours because when I got home I had dinner and I just like laid in bed and I ended up falling asleep knowing that I need to get up in like the next six hours to like shower but no I actually like slept the whole full 10 hours and it's been like 14 hours so I am definitely pretty freaking dark. Even like on my legs, like you can tell. So yeah, I'm going to shower and I'll get back to so I just took a shower and I just like washed my body. I didn't I didn't like scrub my face and I didn't even do my hair. Um I just like put water on my face. So basically after um a spray tan you're not supposed to be in any type of water or have like water hit you like even if you're washing your hands um because as soon as a droplet of water hits any surface of the skin it will stop the process of your skin darkening um that's just how like the product works so 
Like I said in the beginning, I'm very fair toned. So my processing, which you guys like already heard me say 14 hours and four and then six and probably 10. But since I'm so fair, I was supposed to check my skin in four hours, which I did. I was like, I had dinner when I got home and I just relaxed in bed and I was like, talking to like Sierra and I was like telling her like hey like it's been four hours like on snapchat I was like snapchatting her like and like my lighting like it, like my lights were low so and it was dark out so you couldn't like see well and I looked like more red but I was definitely like getting bronzier so anyways that was like my four hour mark and I knew that Six hours was coming soon and six hours was when I needed to hop in the shower, take a lukewarm shower and just like lightly like rinse and lightly wash. But, um, hmm, I fell asleep. Ugh, yes. So, it's fine. As soon as water touches your skin, which I woke up and I will say I am very happy with my color. I really like it. Um you do put on like this lotion like in the beginning so like your nails don't get stained and I put it on my hands because I didn't want my hands turning orange which you could see like where I swiped the lotion right there um that's just that's my fault that's not from the spray tan that's completely um user user fault like that's my fault um so I'm not blaming the machine or anything like that was because of me so yeah um, and I will insert a picture because on my knee, it's, uh, uh it's white <laughs> because I did put the lotion on my knees as well, which you're supposed to do lightly. I did lightly on the other one and I guess I just, I don't know what I was thinking with my other knee. I just kind of globbed it on there is what it looks like because it's white. <laughs> so I guess I'll just put foundation on. I don't know. I'll insert a picture. Like the hand swiping like that's completely my fault but I am happy like my hands are not stained at all not in between or like my nails are not like my hands look good besides the like little like streak which whatever we're all wear a bracelet I don't know <laughs> it's like not that big of a deal but my knee I'm like really like upset about but like my fault should have known but will I get a spray tan again yes I definitely will um now that I know like the process and like what to do what not to do which I knew what and what not to do before I even got the tan because I like did like a lot of research on it and like the people at the tanning place were very very helpful they gave me like the sheet of how to like take care of like your body before like the day before and stuff like that so I will definitely be going back again I'm going I'm not going back until like this wears off i just wanted to get a spray tan i didn't need one but spring break's coming summer's coming and i don't want to go to the lake the beach the pool like looking um white pasty gross especially like living in florida like during the summertime i feel like everyone like expects you to be like sun-kissed and glowy 24 7 so yeah i'm glad i am there now and like I said, I do plan on like spray tanning more, so I might like start a series. No, I'm not gonna start a series. <laughs> like I'll just like keep you guys updated with like my spray tan like trips, and like I'll take y'all along. So that is it for this vlog. I got to go get ready for my day. So bye. So anyways, um, here I am getting off on a tangent. I feel like Kim Kardashian. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine.